Hello everyone, let me hope we are all fine. Today we are going to talk about word processing. And under word processing we have many applications we can use for word processing. But the main one is Microsoft Word. So we are going to focus on Microsoft Word. So let's get started on our part 4 on the lesson of word processing. Yes. Let's continue. I hope all of you are fine. Thank you, my subscribers. Continue to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you so much. I will continue to provide you with great work. I will continue to give you work. So today we are going to uh, see our part four of introduction to word processing notes. So we have covered all of this. So if you're new to my channel, this is your first time to see there are videos of uh, word processing from where we started part one, part two, part three. So this is part four. And part three we we stopped. Let me see where we stopped. Part three we stopped and uh, we stopped we were going on moving around the document that is what we were going to discuss so we are going to start moving around the document as our part for today so there are several ways to move around a document so we are just going to see how we can move around our document so there are several ways to move around our document and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to first open my word i'm going to first open word so as word op opens um arrow keys move the insertion point one line or later at a time the arrow keys Move the insertion point one line or later at a time. We are going to see everything. Control plus arrow keys. Move one word, section or paragraph at a time. Home key. Moves the cursor to the beginning of the line. End key. Moves the cursor to the end of the line. Control plus home. Moves the cursor to the beginning of the document. There is a difference between control plus home key. And the home key this the home key only moves the cursor to the beginning of the line the control plus home moves the cursor to the beginning of the document control plus end moves the cursor to the end of the document page up and page down keys move the cursor quickly through the document one screen at a time control plus page up moves the cursor to the previous page control plus page down moves the cursor to the next page so if we know our keyboard very well these keys that we are seeing right here we are seeing uh for the arrow keys and uh, all the way to control plus page down they are on the keyboard on your right hand side on your right hand side of the keyboard that is where you're going to find the home key the end key the page up the page down and the arrow keys so let me go to my document here. I open new document. Yes. So I'm going to type in equals to rand equals rand. This time round. Occupy it with a lot of stuff. So I have occupied it with a lot of stuff. So we said the arrow keys. If I am to use the arrow keys, you can say I move from one page from one line to another that is moving from one line to another are down now up now left side right side 
like that that is how you can move if you are using the arrow keys they are also important you don't need to first um, delete some words for you to reach to another one you can just use the arrow keys to go immediately to where you want so control plus the arrow keys control plus the arrow keys you can see control plus arrow keys they move from one paragraph to another you can say i'm pressing control plus the arrow keys one paragraph to another one uh, one word to another one word to another not not letters but one word to another if you to press control plus the arrow keys you will move one word to another one word to another and one paragraph to another just like you can see if you are to follow the uh, the cursor or the insertion insertion point from one paragraph to another one word to another move one word section or paragraph at a time so the home key moves the cursor to the beginning of the line oh sorry to the beginning of the line so when i press the home key it will go to the beginning of the line my 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 cursor is here you can see my cursor is here when i press the home key it goes to the beginning of the line it goes to the beginning of the line the beginning of the line if you're to use the home key so the end key moves the cursor to the end of the line so if i press the end key it goes to the end of the line you can see where it went in case it is there you press the end key it goes all the way so control plus o moves the cursor to the beginning of the document oh sorry again so control plus home it goes to the beginning of the document control plus end all the way at the end of the document control plus home to the beginning of the document page up and page down moves the cursor quickly through the document one screen at a time page up and page down you can see it moves quickly quickly page page up and page down you can see it moves through the page quickly control moves the cursor to the previous page to the next page control up to the page you can see control plus down control plus page down to the next page but i don't have an, an, another page so let us just leave it okay let me try entering another page control plus up to the previous page control plus down to the next page control plus up to the previous page control plus down to the next page like that so let me get for you let me see So we can see. Yes, so you can see this is our image having the side of the right side of the keyboard. It is having the right side of the keyboard. So, uh, you can see the arrow keys are here, the arrow keys are here, the home key is here, the end key is here, the page up is here, the page down is also here. So the keyboards are very different considering to the type of the uh, computer you have or the computer you're using or the laptop you're using, any device that you're using 
they are, they all have different kinds of uh, the setup of the of these keys is very different but no matter how different they are they do their exact job so don't be confused so let us continue at the right side at the right side of the document window is a scroll bar the view ruler icon at the top of the vertical scroll bar toggles the ruler bar off and on dragging the elevator in the scroll bar moves you up or down the scroll line is quickly as designed so this is the scroll bar that they are talking about it can as well move move you quickly through your document you can see it can as well move you ah that is the scroll bar the ruler is here it can as well move move through your document that is the ruler for you that is the ruler for you so the single arrow in the scroll bar is used to move up or down one line at a time but does not alter the location of the insertion point the single arrow you can see one line at a time this arrow up or down but they don't tamper they don't alter with this insertion point or the cursor but you can see those are the arrows up and down one line at a time one line one line you can see one line disappearing not two lines at a go but one line at a time those are the arrows they are talking about so clicking the double arrows chevrons up or down moves you through the documents at a page at a time like the control plus page and control plus page down keys so when you over click it is like uh, the control plus page when you over click very fast so clicking and dragging the dotted triangle on the lower right corner of the window when the window doesn't fill the screen allows you to change the dimensions of the window like the double headed arrows on a window border if you click on the title bar and drag you can move the window around the screen so that is how we can move through our document that is how we can move through our document note a scroll wheel on a mouse will also let you scroll through document by moving the wheel back and forth so we are going to discuss formatting the document we are going to show how we can format our document so by using formatting related commands the document can be made to look professional at the same time at the same time it makes the message in the document more understandable there are four components to formatting character paragraph page and document character formatting is one of them so so we are going to talk about character formatting for to for this part and the rest uh we will talk about paragraph formatting in our next part so let us talk about character formatting today the following terms describe the components of fonts and the options for character formatting so number one font a font defines a descriptive look or shape font face of type face size and style of a group of characters or symbols for example one font is times roman 12 point bold italic another font is calibri 10 point italic the default font font for word 2010 is calibri but it is also the default font for every word 
or if it is what 20 what 2011 2016 2018 it is still calibri just like we can see 2019 it is still calibri so now this is the font we are talking about so now you can see this video this video has a font face of calibri now it has the font face of calibri or you can call it the font style or the font look the font face yes like they say the font defines a scriptive look or shape font face or type face so you can call it the font face or type face it has the face of calibri but you can change it to any font you want accordingly to what you want or how you want your document to look like or how they have told you or how if you're copying and pasting you can change that font it is very applicable so you just come here you just come here on the font type calibri and you change your font it is applicable you can say i have changed it to adobe gothic i have changed it to adobe gothic stb i can change it now this font this uh this word video has a font size of 11 the font size of 11 you can change as well the font size by either pressing clicking on this uh on the on these upper cases of letter a bigger a is increasing you can say i'm increasing the font size when you click on this one that looks smaller it is going to decrease the font size or you can just come here on this drop down arrow and you and you give it the exact number or the exact size you want you can as well type it you can as well type it the way you want and you press enter simple as that so look or shape font face or type size and style of group of characters or symbols for example now i have finished throw point bold yes this is not bold our word video is not bold you can see the bold is here you can either press ctrl b and it bolds itself or ctrl b to unbold so it also has the italic you can as well press ctrl i or ctrl i to remove the italic so another font is calibri 10 point the default font we have finished that the general rule is to limit the numbers of different fonts in one document to three use serif serif fonts fonts with letter with little fit for text documents this makes the document easier to read you shouldn't pile up your document here you put uh this font here you use another font you shouldn't pile up your document with a lot of fonts you it, it, it needs to be very easy to read by a reader but now there are different fonts that can that can even make you blind that you can't even read so you, you just need now these are calligraphies someone fills their font with a lot of calligraphies you can't just read the font not everyone can read them the point is to make sure that you can uh, you say how can you read this font this kind of font there are different fonts some people can read it others cannot just make it visible or readable to everyone if that document is for everyone so size refers to the height of the characters and is measured in 72 points per inch normal sizes for business documents are 10 to 12 yes that is true 10 to 12 not 13 no what you can see even this size of mine this is like 10 uh, this is like 16 anyway so normal sizes of business documents are 10 to 12 points while word uses 11 points as its default 
11 you can see here 11 that is the default 11 word uses 11 so style or attributes include bold italics and condensed we have seen that use these attributes for emphasis not for the whole document you get you you can use this for emphasis not for the whole document not for the whole document but now you you can you pick out the common words and you use these you use these uh styles bold or italic not for the whole document spacing proportional or fixed pitch proportional means a very a variable amount of space is allotted for each character allotted for each character depending on the character width that is what we call spacing fixed space or mo mono space means a set space is provided for each character regardless of the character width for example an eye is allowed the same amount of space as a w so you can see the spacing the spacing you need to space very well your work to make it visible you need to space it very well to make it visible we also have special effects what provides the user with the ability to apply special effects to characters some of these special effects are superscript subscript strike through highlight color and small caps use these as appropriate for the document and the message use color only when printing on a color printer or moving the document around electronically a black and white printer needs to interpret the colors sometimes making them not easily readable in black and white yes this is so true so many of us because we want to design our documents to look very well good you end up coloring all the words in your document and your document becomes colored so now the color the the white and black printer for it when it reads those colors it will it will print out a document we in black and white that won't be able you won't be able to read most of the words because they were in color so it will give color red a, 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 a color between black and white so you only use these colors when you are sure you're going to print out using a colored printer it is very advisable so now these special effects now you can see this one video i highlight the whole line so this is the strike through through many of us wonder how do they they use the strike through like that you can see i have strike through my my line now this is the sub, 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 subscript this is the subscript yes it is the subscript and this is the superscript so now this are uh, these two of them now you see the subscript and the superscript so now in case i want v squared how do i write v squared i write v and number two so i i highlight number two and i say v squared just like that superscript that is v squared but now how do i write v two v two oh for example like water is uh, the symbol of water is h2o but the two is down how do that two go go down it only goes down by the subscript you highlight the two and you use the subscript those are the special effects you only use them for emphasis or in, if they have told you to use them you don't just use them anyhow so so you can see now i can highlight all this paragraph and i shade it with i give it a color 
I shade it with yellow. And I also highlight it again and I make this background yellow. Text highlight yellow. The font is red, but the whole highlight. You know how you get a high you, how you get a mark and you highlight through your notes. You highlight through your notes, those important those important words you highlight them through. So this is how you highlight through a document on your computer by using this text highlight. You can choose any color you want accordingly. So I may also say no color. Yes, those are the special effects. Symbol set typeface. The characters and symbols that make up the font. The specific design of a character or symbol commonly referred to as the font face. For example, Helvetica, Carrier, Times Roman, Times Roman Bold, and Times Roman Italic are all different type faces. So we went through them. These ones, these are type faces. Type faces, all of them, these ones, the copper, the what? The most common one is the Algerian. Yes, Algerian is common. Algerian, the Helvetica, those ones are very common. The impact Algerian is there, it is the most common one. So, to format a character, font size and style. As in previous examples, you can choose the font size and style in several different ways. Select the text to apply the font and size. How, now here we are seeing how we can format a character. Select the text, the text to apply the font and size. You select you highlight just like i highlighted and i i, I started giving it my, the font so click the home tab choose a font and size from the font group we have gone through that click the dialog launcher in the font group and the font dialog box appears you can select a font font style size effects color and character spacing in the dialog box you can also choose a different font style and size that will be the default style for all your documents. By default, the font size for business documents is 10 to 12 points, but you may also choose a larger size that can easily be read on the screen if you like. Later, you can change. You can change the font if necessary. For example, you can highlight the entire document by choosing select in the editing group and then select all. You can change the font if necessary. For example, you can highlight the entire document by choosing select in the editing group and then select all. Or press Ctrl A and reduce the print size before printing by choosing another font size or print style or both. We have seen how we can do this. Style buttons are available in the font group for bold, italic and underline. They are also available. So to use the style buttons for bold, italic, and line, highlight a word or section of text. Click the desired style button that appears. You can use the style button in the font group to change style attributes. Alternatively, when you highlight a word, a small toolbar will appear as you hold the mouse arrow over the highlighted word. You can then choose bold, italic, another font size from among the other choices on there. Tuba. So like you highlight, you can see the, you can see the style buttons, bold, italic, they also appear here. You can see the styles. So, Tuba. So clicking a style button again will change the style back to its previous style. You can turn these attributes on or off by pressing Ctrl plus B, Ctrl plus I, or Ctrl plus U. Not all, not also that the underline button underlines all the highlighted text. The highlighted text. For example, if I now this text is highlighted, you press Ctrl U, it will highlight all the 
text Control b it will bold Control i it will italicize so clicking the change styles arrow in this styles group to select a style color and a font for text even more styles and choices are available when you click the dialog launcher in the style groups the dialog launcher in the style groups so So that is how we can we, we saw how to move through our document and now we can format our text how we can format our text so today we have learned those few few things character formatting and moving through our document so when we come back when we come back since they are they are they are four there are four components to formatting character paragraph page and document so today we talked about the character formatting so when we come back we are going to talk about the paragraph formatting stay tuned on continue watching my youtube channel for more videos and if you're new remember to subscribe to my youtube channel you can just follow through the link that is under the description of this video you'll see that link and you when you click it when you click on it it will just take you to subscribe you simply sign into your gmail account it will allow you to subscribe you can't subscribe to my channel if you do not have a gmail account so you first open up an email and you enter youtube and you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much Feel blessed and have a wonderful day. Stay safe, keep at home and follow the guidelines that are put by our leaders. Thank you so much.